Rick Santorum, the surprise finisher in Iowa's three-way tie last night, is no friend of limited government. He says so himself. Listen to this radio clip. One of the criticisms I make is to what I refer to as, as more of a, of a libertarian-ish right. They have this idea that we should be let, people should be left alone, be able to do whatever they want to do. Government should keep our taxes down and keep our regulation flowing. and that we shouldn't get involved in the bedroom, we shouldn't get involved in cultural issues. That is not how traditional conservatives view the world. There is no such society that I'm aware of where we've had radical individualism and that it succeeds as a, as a culture. No such society, he says, has succeeded as a culture. Our next guest says Santorum is totally wrong about that. There is such a society. It's called the United States of America. David Bowes from Cato joins us now. David, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank you, Judge. Make the case against Rick Santorum that is really just a Republican version of big government. No friend to those who believe in the Constitution. No friend to those who believe in fiscal conservatism. No friend to those who believe in small government. Well, I think you and he have just done it. I mean, it really is stunning that here is a candidate, I don't know of any other politician other than Rick Santorum and Hillary Clinton, who have directly attacked the idea of the pursuit of happiness. It's in the Declaration. It's the fundamental idea of America, and they're the only two who have criticized it openly. He says the pursuit of happiness is harming America. And I think you go from that, you see that he wants to regulate society, he wants government in the bedroom, he wants government in your religious life, but also his record in the Senate. He voted for No Child Left Behind, he right. voted for steel tariffs, he voted for the prescription drug entitlement, he voted against NAFTA. He has a mixed record in the Senate, but a lot of big government conservatism there. Can, can, is, is it going to be left to Ron Paul to capture the votes of Republicans who feel like you do? Is it going to be left to uh, Gary Johnson uh, running on a libertarian ticket to capture the votes of those who feel as you and I do? H how is this going to shake down? It seems to me to be uh, an overwhelming urge in the Republican Party that none of these guys is the person that we want uh, to be the standard bearer. Libertarians and Tea Partiers and Constitutionalists and people who believe that government's gotten too big don't have many choices right now. We're being told that the choice is between Mitt Romney, who, you know, has the health care mandate on his record, and Rick Santorum, who openly dislikes the fundamental political idea of America. So, yes, I would think that people who are looking for smaller government don't have many choices besides Ron Paul and Gary Johnson. We'll see how that plays out. But these two so-called front-runners are big government conservatives, and it could be four more years of George W. Bush. Got it. David Bowes from the Cato Institute. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Us. Is libertarian